Hey friends and welcome back to Lori's Crafty Corner. Today's layout is for the Color Stories and Inspiration blog, case file number 319. And here is the image once more. It has lots of teals, lots of cutesy stuff, and red and white and black. So I am going to use that as my color scheme. And I'm going to be documenting these three pictures of my son. Now I do apologize, some of my footage seems like cut out. Um, for some reason, parts of it weren't recorded by my camera, but you know, it's not that bad. Um, I think at least you can get the gist of it. So my idea, my um, design is going to feature three distinct clusters with a photo each. And then at the bottom, I'm going to add a little section for uh, actually, it's a big section because it's a border with um, some uh, with the title. Gosh, I forgot the word. So right now I'm adding shimmers in four different, actually two different colors, but each color has two different tones. Um, and I'm just adding mixed media in reds and teals teals slash blues because I do add a splash of blue dark blue onto the layout um, to my focal picture because all three pictures will automatically draw your eye but I wanted the center picture to be a bit different um, so for that I added a bit of vellum beneath it and now I just spend time tearing paper and layering lots of patterned paper beneath my pictures. I'm going to be using teals, blues, reds. I also bring in a couple bring, bring in a couple of scallop um, punches just to, you know, play around cuz I have to admit that punches are just those things that I know that are in my stash but I don't really use them a lot. So I want to make an effort and use them. I'm, as I'm using homemade kits to document um, my layouts for April and May. I also want to use up other items that I have neglected over, uh, over the years and over the months. So there, I used some white, um, white, some navy blue cardstock with one punch and some red cardstock with the whiter scallop punch. And I love how this layout turned out. Oh, I forgot to mention that in between the layers of reds and teals and blues, I've also wedged in some patterned paper that was off-white with black polka dots. Um, basically because when you look at the picture, you don't get a lot of color. It's not black and white, but you don't get a lot of bold colors other than um, the race car track that my son has. The tour, I should specify the toy race car track that my son is playing with um, there you get a big dash of red and black but mostly it's like white and skin color so um, I wanted to also balance that out by adding this off-white patterned paper with some black polka dots and basically if you notice I barely used any paper trimmer or scissors I'm just tearing pieces of patterned paper, layering them. Each picture has a different, like they use the same patterned paper, but how they're placed is different. How they're torn and distressed makes them different. So like the same, but not quite. And then each stack of patterned paper with the picture is going to be popped up on some craft foam. And I love, please check out the CSI Color Stories Inspiration Facebook group because we have a lot of inspiration and I just love being part of this design team because it's just a different way of getting 
like inspired and I sometimes struggle with getting inspired sometimes I have a picture and I'm like how am I going to document this other times I want to create something but I don't know what to do with it per se so by having that sort of inspiration um, like the one that you the ones you see at CSI it really pushes yourself it really helps to push yourself to get your stories documented in manners that you probably wouldn't like think to document them oh and of course I'll be um, adding the link to the Facebook group and the blog down below so that if you're interested you can certainly go and check them out one other thing that I will mention um, please if you like these this video and all the other videos that I've posted please like my video comment on it um, I try and reply to each comment that um, people leave on my videos share my videos subscribe to my channel um, click the bell icon so that you can be notified I'm trying to to balance out the amount of videos that I'm posting by posting about three videos a week sometimes I post less sometimes I post more but I'm trying to keep you know keep it keep things on the regular side but please it does go a long way share so that your friends know and get inspired as well and of course anything helps so back to the layout this is the overall design and I was like okay I need something towards the bottom because you'll see it towards the end that if it weren't for this um, border um, these two borders that I'm placing here um, it'll the layout will, will would have turned out to be very top heavy so to balance this, uh, things out I chose one teal patterned paper and a red gingham patterned paper and added them at angles uh, just so that it doesn't look all straight and adds you know further adds to the fun element of it and then my title I wanted to use that die cut from Vicky one of the Vicky Boogie collections and also that foamy fun title um, I wanted to use that as well and then I just start looking around my homemade kit and start adding things that are either blue teal or red it, I, I'm not too picky in terms that if maybe it if if it's red or teal like that bird red teal and it has just a little pop of green I don't mind um, you know I don't mind if certain die cuts have other color intermixed because um, in the end it'll all play out so after selecting some very random embellishments um, I begin to commit and stick things down so my title is be happy and have fun um, yeah I love all the craziness of that title area because then I have this big bird um, that I've popped up on some craft foam um, that's sort of swooping in to land on the title I love it I do it's it's I love this layout so much I love all my layouts so then I'm b I've been trying to do this as much as I can like once I'm done with one cluster I move on to the other cluster and so on and so forth just so that I know that wait I'm missing something here then I can go back to my kid and search for it and within my clusters I have a lot of dimension because I'm placing some of those embellishments on some um, craft foam others I'm layering one on top of each other I'm trying to wedge them here and there and yeah I just love how this turned out I do I keep looking at it and it's so it's so playful it's a very much it's a boy layout Oh, some of the embellishments are puffy stickers 
Um, so yeah, lots of dimension and layers and I love it. I love it. And then to add some finishing touches to the layout, I grabbed some sequins from Spiegel Mom Scraps in teal, navy, and red. And I'm also adding some Nouveau drops in teal. I think I add them teal, red, and black in terms of the Nouveau drops. Because I, I like to add these, like, like to wedge in between the bigger embellishments, um, you know, try to wedge in some smaller embellishments just so like it, it just add, further adds to the detail within um, the layout. And then I add some splashes of minor minor gold for 49er, which is a gold shimmer throughout the entire layout. And here are the close-ups. I love how this turned out, and I hope you are inspired to get your stories documented. Switch it up, switch the colors up, switch the theme of it up, and let's see what you can come up with. If anything, guys, remember, please like, subscribe, share my videos, comment down below, and I'll be with you with sharing another process video soon.